Hey everybody, it's Sophia, and today I'm going to show you a super awesome, cool, amazing braid, which is called the Starburst braid, and it's an amazing braid, and I first discovered it on Cute Girls Hairstyles, and I've been dying to try it, and so I finally tried it, and I got so many compliments, uh, or my little sister got so many compliments, because she was the one wearing it, um, and it looks absolutely amazing, and it's really hard to figure out how you do it. Um, it's a little challenging, but that's what I'm going to hopefully show you how to do today, and uh, hopefully it'll make more sense. So, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is something to part the hair with, and I'm using this rat tail comb. I'm going to use the end of it that I got from Sally's for $3, and it's really good. So you're going to start right at the top of the head and go about two or three inches in, and you're just going to begin parting and making a circle. Just like that. And try to keep it the same width all the way throughout. And it's okay if the circle is not perfect. Just practice. It's going to be covered up anyway by the braid, but we just want to be able to have the dot the same amount of hair. So do that all the way around. Like that. Now, once you have sectioned off your middle section, you're going to want to comb that neatly into a ponytail right in the center of the head. So, I'm actually going to switch over to my brush because it will make it easier for me. So, just gather all that hair together and put a pretty strong hair elastic in it. Okay, now that you have your ponytail sectioned off, you're going to put it to one side. And once again, you're going to part, do a deep part from about her eyebrow and move all this hair over. Because we're going to start the braid right here. So, take the ponytail and kind of drop it to the other side so it's out of your way. And then pick up about two inches width of hair and divide it into three sections. And now from here, all you're going to do is just a regular French braid. So begin by crossing the outer section over the middle. And when you cross this section over, you're going to add in an entire, all of this. You're going to add in the whole thing. So cross it over, and you want your braid to lay directly over the part line. Now for the top part of the braid, you're going to remove a tiny section of hair from the ponytail, and then cross it over. The start is always the hardest. You need to use your parting tool with the parts. Go ahead and do that, and cross it over the bottom. And then once going to get to the top, a tiny bit and add it straight to that section and then cross it over and you're just going to repeat this around the entire circle making sure that your sections from the ponytail are all about the same size so I'm doing about a quarter inch of hair from the ponytail and about an inch or two inches of hair from the bottom and you're just going to do this all the way around. Alright, once I get to the front of her head, it looks a little crazy, but I'm, you really want to make sure that you bring the pieces super tight 
So I'm going to use my hardening tool here and comb them out a little bit because you don't want any bumps in the front of the head because that is what is going to be seen. Alright, and once you have added in all of your hair from both the front of the head and the tail, then you just want to continue braiding all the way down. If you made any mistakes, like I did up here, one piece kind of bumped out, that's okay. Just take a bobby pin, grab that section, push it in, and then you can't even tell. It's all done. Now, with the extra braid, there's two options to finish it off. One option is to grab under here and tuck it back around, but I don't really like that. I think it gives kind of a weird effect. So I just kind of finish it off in a little bun. So, just kind of, kind of roll it around itself. I think this is a very elegant way to finish it off. And then just take my bobby pins. And then once you have your little bun secured, just finish it off with some flowers. And there you go. You spin for us. Give it a little spin around. She's on a stool. So you just have this very elegant wrap around. And you can't see the ponytail holder at all. So it's like, how in the world? Did you get a braid all the way around your head? It's just crazy. So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. This is a super fun braid. I know she loves it. What do you think of it? I like it really much. Yeah. Because um, the day she did it, I was going to dance and I wanted to do it. I had to do all the things and she did this. Yeah. And she was like, oh my goodness, this is so amazing. I love this. So we decided to film it for you guys. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and if you liked this braid, please give it a big thumbs up, give us a thumbs up, and comment below, and if not for nothing else, just on how cute she is, and we will see you guys next week. Bye!